Hi, I'm Kay Curry and welcome to my studio, Blue Pony Art here in Reedyville, Tennessee. <laughs> I got started about 28 years ago. I do mostly animals because it's influenced by my background of being raised on a farm and having a farm here and my degrees actually are in animal science so that has greatly influenced all my animal sculptures and that's probably why I'm able to sculpt them, most of them with more precision on how they look and trying to look realistic and natural. Um, everything I sculpt with is made out of clay and I use different forms of sculpting, whether it's um, slab work, solid clay, or armatures to build on. So, so today I'm going to start by sculpting a bunny rabbit. And this is good sculpting clay. I have two different types of sculpting clay I use, and um, it has a lot of grog in it so they can resist cracking and it um, lends itself to being manipulated a lot. So, so I actually start out with a square block and I try to get his main body built. And then once I get his main body shaped the way I want it, I'll cut it in half or even in more sections depending on how big it is. And then I take tools and I hollow it out. So say this is his front end now, I hollow it out down to about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And I do this all the way, all the way down to the front. And then once I get him completely hollowed out, both sides, I'll score and slip it and put him back together. So I've made his ears and his tail, and he really doesn't look like a bunny until you get his ears on. So we will work on that. I'm scoring it really deep now so it'll hold the ear in place. And I change positions of the ears depending on how I think they look best. So next I will add his other hind leg. So I position it on there. So I've hollowed all of this out. I made his head separate and hollowed it out and then added it on. And his front legs are solid, but they're not that thick. So it does okay to have some solid pieces. And this is relatively really soft clay, so it goes together pretty good. And the time it takes me to make a piece, it depends on the size, uh, how difficult it is and everything. Most sculptural pieces take anywhere from two or three hours to do the main sculptural part up to um, armature pieces, maybe 10 hours. And I change the expression of their tails also and how, I ho how they hold their legs and things like that. Sometimes I cross their legs. Sometimes I lay their tails down flat. Sometimes I lay their ears down flat, so it all changes their expression. So this is my kiln in my kiln room, and I do my bis firing here after everything is bone dry. And once it's bis fired to about cone 05, which is about 1,888 degrees, I take it out and I start glazing the piece. And then once it's glazed, I fire it again to cone 5 or 6, which is about 2200 degrees and then it takes a little over a day for the kiln to cool off before I can find out what everything looks like. Sometimes it's like Christmas when you open the kiln. <laughs> so after the piece has been bis fired um, I bring it out to be glazed and this piece I've started on and it has four or five different glazes already. It was dipped in a solid glaze which I waxed out the bottom first and then dipped it and then I apply different colors. These are all actually versions of blue-green to blue in this um, color pattern. So I'm gonna add some more. And then this, I like to drag my brush across because it'll leave some open areas. And these are all just different colors of blue overlapped on each other. So when it 
is fired, they will all melt and go together. This is a combination of glazing and underglazes where I painted the flowers with, this is actually canna that I pressed into the clay and I painted it with underglazes and then waxed it out. This is um, elephant garlic. And I pressed that into the clay and then painted it with underglazes and waxed it out and then dipped the whole piece in a solid color and then added more glazes on top of that. So, so these I paint with all underglazes and I started out with the underglaze of black, wiped it all off, and that left it deep in the cracks. And then I painted it with the other colors like grays and whites, and then different colors for his feet and his beak, and make it look like wood. Thank you for coming out today and visiting my studio, and thank you to the Art Center of Cannon County and we appreciate all the work they do and plays and the gift shop that they have, which has a few of my pieces in it right now. And I enjoy going there and all the work that they've done over the years to help promote my um, beginning of my sculptural career. Thank you very much.